Hi everyone, it's Adrienne Leah. This video is about the medicinal uses of blue cohos, colophyllum talicruides. I'll be reading my script that I wrote off of my laptop, and I'll post my script on the blog section of my website. My references will be in the description bar of this video. Blue cohos is notorious for being a reproductive tonic for women. It has been given the nickname blue ginseng for its deep blue blueberries and as a reference to Panax ginseng and Panax quinquefolius, reproductive tonics for men. For women, it can be used to treat uterine inflammation, spasms, and menses pain. It can also help with menopausal pain because of its antispasmatic properties from the alkaloid menthol cosetine, dilating blood vessels and increasing blood flow to the pelvic region. It can be used to treat prolonged bleeding, used to treat a weak pelvic, aching abdominal thigh muscles, breast tenderness, abdominal pain caused by fluid retention. It has soothing steroid saponins that are less estrogenic than black cohos, Kimi Kifuga Rismosa. Blue cohos can increase urine flow, act as a laxative, and has weak diaphoretic properties. Cohos derives from the Algonquin word meaning rough, which is referring to the look of its roots. It's an herb native to the United States and Canada and has been used in older remedies for Native American tribes such as Iroquois tribes to improve muscle tone of the uterus with blue cohos's tripenoid saponin hederagin and is said to treat uterine prolapse. It's used as a uterine stimulant for childbirth and to ease labor pain. It was listed in the United States Pharmacopelia from 1882 to 1905 as a labor inducer. Native Americans have also used blue cohos to treat rheumatism and this herb is found in small amounts in their blends. Blue cohos is a powerful muscle relaxant and a menagogue. It can be used to treat, re to regulate periods, menstrual cramps, but also inhibit ovulation. It promotes uterine contractions with its phytochemical calaxoponin and is sometimes used during later stages, the last weeks of pregnancy, to help prepare the mother for childbirth to promote easy labor. The roots and rhizomes are the parts of blue cohosts that are used. Leucohose can be made into a tea, decoction, or tincture. Because the brew is darker and bitter, it can be ideal in capsule form. Leucohose shouldn't be used during early stages of pregnancy because it, has, it can cause birth defects, miscarriage, or abortion. It's important to take it under medical supervision because it may cause stroke, heart failure, and other cardiac reactions during childbirth. The colloxeponin has been used in an inhumane and controversial study on dying animals, the researchers found that caloxaponin narrowed arteries and may contribute to other heart damage. This can be information to consider. Blue cohos might make diabetes worse because it can raise blood sugar levels. The, po the berries are poisonous. Blue cohos has strong active properties, so it's helpful to do research on the plant and on products with this herb. It's important to consult your physician so blue, co blue cohos can be taken safely and effectively. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.